Well, that was a pretty close game during the first half. So I've been getting some feedback on my cooking show that maybe I should try food items that are a little less disgusting. And I'm not one to shun the feedback from my fans. So while I was doing the research to uh, find Kentucky's best kept secrets, I found a secret recipe. It was supposedly somebody discovered the secret recipe from the Brown Hotel in Louisville, Kentucky for the hot brown. You ever heard of that? Okay, preheat the oven at 352 degrees and get a half a stick of butter, melt over low heat, and then a quarter cup of flour would make equal parts. Half and half, fat and flour. You may recall the French and the Cajuns have a word for that. It's called roux. Only this is going to be a light roux, not a dark roux. I'm going to cook this for two minutes. Stir the whole time. Now we get half a cup of heavy cream. Stir it in real slow. Folks, my source for this recipe would not reveal their name. And there was one ingredient they said that I could not disclose under any circumstances. I was sworn to secrecy. So don't even ask me what the secret ingredient is in this hot brown recipe. Now look at there how thick that got all of a sudden. That's why you need to put half a cup of sweet milk and keep that sweet milk right there by your side so you can keep thinning it as you go. Because when you get to your final destination, you want to pour it on, not plop it on. Got it? Now sprinkle on in half a cup of Pecorino Romano cheese, whatever that is, and it's getting thick again. You probably better put some more sweet milk in there. And then slice up about a half a pound of turkey real thick. Set you out some of that Texas-sized toasting bread and stack that turkey right on top of it. And then spread out some Roma tomatoes. Slice right down the middle. And then get that secret sauce and pour it all over everything. And then sprinkle that with some of that Pecoranino Romanomio. And then don't forget the black pepper. Okay, throw some paprika on there, and a little bit of bacon couldn't hurt nothing. And the recipe calls for parsley, but you know what? I don't think that's the right choice. How about we use mint julep leaves, hmm? Only we're not going to chop them up. We're going to rip it apart with our bare hands. It might release the flavor a little bit better that way. And then uh, let's sprinkle on a little bit more of that pepperoni oak. What would you say? Pecorino Romano. And finally, a little bit more black pepper. All right, we're going to try this. Louisville style open face hot brown with roasted tomatoes. You want to? Mmm. -hmm. It's good. Yep. Kids, y'all ought to try this at home. It'll give you a chance to get off of those phones and cook this for your parents. I bet they give you a button. Maybe even about 32 nickels. Ain't that something? Mm-hmm. All right, let's see what you can do.